The next thing I'd like to show you is controllers. Controllers give you the ability to pre-visualize moving scene elements within your visualizer. It's very simple to set up. Just follow me through the steps. To start, select the controllers tab at the bottom and add yourself a new controller. The controller will be found here on the left hand side. And by selecting it, you will have access to all of its properties here on the right hand side. Simply add a parameter and it will give you all of the objects within the scene. And for this demonstration, I'm going to move the DJ riser, DJ deck as it's mentioned here inside the hierarchy of the visualization. Select OK and straight away I can see it's moved a little bit to the right hand side. Reason being is it will automatically select a transition, but I can use the current value here just to move it back into position. Do bear in mind the shift key for fine adjustment, very useful at this time. I'm going to select transition Y, which will now give me the ability to move the DJ riser from the back to the front of the stage. In order to set up your controller, very simply put it at your start position, take that value, copy it using control C and paste that into minimum value control V. When that's done, use the current value to move it to the second position. And once again, copy that value into max, like so. By adding these particular values into the controller properties, it will automatically interpolate the information on the fader that you find here at the bottom. I can then use this fader to move it all the way from the back of the stage, all the way to the front of the stage. The parameter that is created within Visualizer can also be patched to external devices such as a lighting console or MIDI controller or can be programmed within the timeline component inside the Hypnotizer software.